Hey guys, it's Nala here and today I've got an epic challenge here in front of me. I've got over 10,000 calories of St. Pierre's sushi and I'm basically just going to be seeing how quickly I can eat it. Now, this is practically their whole menu and I'm so excited because I absolutely love St. Pierre's sushi. It's like one of my favorite takeaway sushis to get. I get it at least once a week, if not twice. So I was super stoked when they reached out to me and asked me to sponsor a video. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. We've got all my favorites here plus some stuff that I haven't tried before. Uh, so we've got some rice balls, so we've just got a tuna one back here, we've got a chicken teriyaki one here, a uh, salmon avocado one down here, and then we've just got some salmon nigiri, we've got some uh, vegetarian fusion sushi, which I haven't actually tried before, but it looks really nice, so I'm excited to try that one. Uh, we've got some salmon aburi nigiri, which is basically the same thing as that, but it's been like flame torched and it's got like a really nice sauce on it and then some mayo and it's like so, so good. Um, and then we've just got some salmon avocado sushi, we've got some edamame, we've got some anari, which is basically just like a tofu kind of skin thing with some rice in the middle. Um, we've got some tuna avocado sushi, we've got the chicken dragon, which is basically just like a chicken teriyaki roll, but it's like fancy and it's got like sauces on it. Uh, we've got some salmon sashimi, we've got some, I think I said edamame, um, we've got the salmon dragon down there, which is basically the same as this, but it's got like not, lots of nice sauces and it's like inside out, so it's like been rolled the other way. I don't know what it's called, but some sushi rolls have that. Um, and then we've got the chicken fire down here, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm very excited because I love spicy things and apparently it's really hot. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's been on the menu for a while. I've been wanting to try it, but I just haven't gotten it yet. So yeah, I'm very excited to try that one. And then we've got some chicken katsu back here. Um, and then also a uh, large miso soup, which I'm excited about because I love miso soup. And yeah, I've also got some delicious plum wine because what would Japanese food be without some delicious plum wine? So I've got a nice big glass of ice here. And I'm going to pour myself a drink before we get started. I'm so excited. I love Japanese. If you guys know me, you know that Japanese is my absolute favorite cuisine ever like it's just chef's kiss love it I forgot to mention we've also got some mochi as well which is like these kind of sweet little like rice um well it's made with rice it's like gooey and sticky and it's really good um so i think that one's a blueberry one that one is a red bean one and that one is a strawberry one except when i opened the packets this one looked bluer and this one looked more red so i don't know which one's strawberry and which one's blueberry maybe they were put in the wrong packets or something or maybe they've just got each other's colors um but yeah, I'm super excited. Got my wasabi down there, got some ginger, which I love, and I've got some packets of soy sauce back here. So yeah, I am I am excited. So yeah, let's get into it. Cheers. Alrighty. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the salmon aburi because I absolutely love it. I don't know, I'm too far away for you guys to see that, but. Mm. Oh my god. That's just so good. Some vegetarian. Mmm. Very nice. Got my soy sauce. Can't forget the wasabi. I love wasabi. So, so much. Oh my god. I wonder if I can finish, I reckon I can finish that whole thing of wasabi by the time I finish this food. Leave a comment down below if you think I'm gonna <laughs> finish it or not. I reckon I totally can. Probably should have just used my hands, but... Well. We'll go with it. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be civilized. We'll be civilized people today. 
even though I already got wasabi in my fingernail. <laughs> I dropped them. No, I dropped the wasabi. It's alright, we saved it. We saved them, guys. It's cool. He's safe. Nice and safe. Mmm. Oh, that's good. There's a little more soy sauce, though. I don't like soy sauce on all my sushi, I typically just have it on my salmon. I tend to like chicken, well it depends actually, I like to mix it up, but most of the time I just eat chicken like with no soy sauce. Mm. <clears throat> and you wouldn't want to put soy sauce on these delicious ones because they're like perfect how they are. Mm. I want the Inari's. You guys can see it's just like a cute little wrapping thing. Mmm. Avocado inside. Mm. So good. I'm literally in heaven. Mm. Okay. Have some sashimi. I love salmon sashimi so much. Oh my god. We'll just like break the wasabi up on top of it. I also love wasabi as you guys can see. <laughs> I don't have a problem I swear. Nah, it's very good. Even though I know this isn't like real, real wasabi but still pretty tasty like out of all the sushi places especially like the cheaper sushi places this like St. Pierre's actually have really really good wasabi like it tastes pretty close to like the expensive stuff that you get in like the expensive restaurants mm. dude that's so good That one had a little wasabi on it. Ooh. My nose will be clear after this. A nice little salmon avocado one. Mm. Stand up so you guys can see properly. Mmm. I might try some chicken fire. I also got a little tiny little fork for these ones, so. Ooh. So you guys a close up of it. Mmm. That was really good. It's got like a spicy mayo, as well as like some chili flakes and some like spicy sauce. That is, that is addictive. I'm gonna drop some. That's very tasty. Let's try the chicken katsu. Mmm. Yeah. That is really good. I haven't had the chicken katsu from St. Gears before. That is really good. Oh my god. The coating on it is like really nice. Mmm. I'm just in heaven right now. This is just like my ideal meal. Okay. 
Oh, it's miso. I just feel so lucky right now. Mm. This is a chicken dragon. It's just like taraki chicken. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. You've got some sesame seeds on the side, which I absolutely love. I love sesame seeds. Right here. Where can we try one of these salmon boys? Break it. Ah, it's broken up a little bit. Alright, I'll show you guys the next one. Nope. That is very good. Very good. It's almost like a peanutty flavor to the sauce. Very imaginative. <coughs> oh. I actually really like this veggie one. It's like really nice. I'm not sure. I'm kind of like pickling it or something. See if you guys can guess down in the comments. Leave a comment down below what you reckon is in the sushi. Is there only cucumber capsicum <clears throat> lettuce? And there's something like pickled. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really good. Plum wine. If you guys haven't tried plum wine, 
I'm seriously try it. It's like so so good. Oh, that is so nice with Japanese food. I mean, if I had to live on one food for the rest of my life, salmon sashimi would be like a high contender. I love sabi on that piece of We're about 13 minutes in now. I reckon it's time to try a rice bowl. We have two one because it's easy, it's back here. Oh, my legs crossed, <laughs> I'm crossing. There you go. Mm. I actually don't think I've had the tuna rice bowl before. I typically go for the um, chicken teriyaki one. I love their rice bowls. Their rice is so nice. Like it's just like oh, slightly sweet and like vinegary. Mm. And like always, my camera went off. <laughs> always happens. It's very annoying. Still haven't figured out like a way to fix it either. So if you have a camera recommendation, leave it down below please. One that doesn't switch off randomly. It typically happens in about 15 minutes so it's not so random but it's very annoying. My trusty Coke, no sugar vanilla as well. Oh, pardon me. Oh, I'm getting full. This is this is full and stuff. Okay, very good, tuna. Oh actually I'm trying the mooch, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the blueberry one that looks like it's strawberry. As you can see it's a cute little Oh 
Oh my god, man. Yeah, this is fish and strawberry. Yeah, it's fish and strawberry. Mm. Oh my god, man. That is just nuts. That's so good. I'm trying to try the red bean one. That's got a little bit of sauce on it. Just pretend like that's not there. Just bite that bit off. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Typically I don't love red bean, but this is actually really nice. It's like quite sweet. The other times I've had red bean desserts, it's been like quite bitter. But this is good, like. Mm. I write that. Strawberry one was still better, but like I would happily eat like a, a packet of those and not complain. And that brings us to the blueberry one. Take a little bite. Mm. See, interesting enough, I think I like the red bean better than the blueberry. I reckon the strawberry. Cheers, that. Maybe that strawberry. Yeah. I think that's actually strawberry. I think that the strawberry one just looked more like purpley and the blueberry one looked more pink because that one was definitely, this one's definitely strawberry. Mm. That was for sure strawberry. I reckon the blueberry one was my favorite. Red bean and then strawberry. They were all really good. The blueberry one was out of this world. Like, so, so good. A sip of miso to cleanse the palate. Ooh, got a little piece of seaweed. Sneak it. Oh, a big piece of seaweed. Tasty. <laughs> that cute little bit of seaweed sticking out. Never ending. Mm. Okay. Back to the edamame. Last in my bag. I really want to compare just to put those in. So you guys don't have to look at my <coughs> two don't need a mommy. Alrighty. Go for some more sashimi. Making a dent in that wasabi. I said I was going to finish it and I am.
thought like I was going to sneeze for a second. <clears throat> we good, we good. It's probably going too much. <laughs> probably going a bit crazy. A little bit crazy. Mm. Oh, it was like sitting above my lip. Chicken. Oh, that is so good. It almost tastes like um like it does slightly taste like Korean fire sauce. And it's got the same and it must have the same something in it. It's just got like that kick. That kind of sweet kick that it does, you know? You know? That is really good. This is a lot of food, man. Pardon me. Uh. Oh. I wish I had more mochi. Those were so good. They were so nice. Oh my god. They were like, I'm going to go buy some more. They were really tasty. Way better than the ones you get like the Asian supermarket. <clears throat> Typically I buy like the little ones at the Asian supermarket. They have nothing on those ones. Those ones were just like... Last piece of sashimi. I eat the lettuce. I really like the lettuce once it gets so like it gets soaked in like the um, the soy sauce and wasabi. It's real good. 
Mm. Ooh, I love uh, Big Bill Wasabi in it. Ooh, man. How sweet the outside tofu skin is. Put a little fire chicken in there, that would be really nice. Mmm. Oh, that was good. Combo. Mm. Oops, I have to peel my leg. Just the ice is melting from my drink. <laughs> For another one of these little bad boys. Mm. And it went off again. Oh man. So, yeah, if you <coughs> know any good cameras that won't do that, or if I could buy like I'm not sure if I could buy like a bigger SD card or something, maybe that would work, but the one I've ever got is like already quite big. I don't know, I like tried to format it, it didn't help at all. But I don't know what to do. Except for buy a whole new camera. I have the same issue with my with my is it Canon as well. Uh, 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 no, me. I know, it was my old camera, but it used to shut off in like every 30 minutes it would shut off. But it wasn't very good for filming, so it was like more of a like picture camera. Oh. Uh. Oh. Pardon me.
school does so much to get left. I'm excited. One thing I love about St. Peter's is they always fill up their misos with lots of seaweed. Mm. Sushi sweats. Mm. Tastes so good though. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't care what anyone says, I reckon <clears throat> having the pickled ginger on top of sushi with some wasabi and soy sauce. So good. I know it's meant to be like a palate cleanser type of thing, but I reckon it tastes pretty good on top of the sushi. I don't even know what that yellow stuff is. It's really good. That pickled something.
I wonder if it's like radish. I'm not too sure, but it's really nice. Because I am. Where is the button? No, no, yeah, there we go. I am so insanely full. Oh my god. I feel like if I eat anymore, I'm just gonna be sick. So I reckon I'm gonna call it there. So that was 38 minutes worth of eating delicious Japanese food from St. Pierre's. Um. Uh. Uh. Pardon me. Uh. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that was really good. It was really, really tasty. But oh my god, it was just so much food. Like, so, so much food. Um, yeah. So we're gonna call it there. So I don't make myself sick. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna waste it, so I'll save it for later. My mum will be very happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you haven't heard of St. Pierre's, you can go check them out. There'll be a link down below in the description. Um, there'll also be a link to my merch. If you guys haven't already checked that out, please go do it. It's really cool. I designed it myself. I absolutely love the designs. They're like, I'm just so proud of it. So, so proud of it. So yeah, if you guys want to support me and buy my merch, please go ahead and do it. It's on Champion Clothing, so you know it's really good quality. And yeah. I guess that's, uh, that's it. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing week. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, man, my gut is insane. Oh, that is just nuts. Oh. Oh. Cheers.